welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, we are going to be testing out a couple new products. Well, new to me products. Um, I don't think they're really all that new, but they are new to me and they are all still available to purchase. So if you've never tried them and you like what you see, you can still get them. So um, what we are playing with today is the Too Faced That's My Jam eyeshadow palette. Now this is my first um, Too Faced eyeshadow palette. And I really do like this color story. It does kind of like a grapey scent to it. I don't know if this one is supposed to be scented. One of their scented ones. I know a lot of their um, palettes are scented, like the seasonal pumpkin spice one and all that. Um, but this one is slightly scented, I feel like, but I don't know if it's like actually meant to be. So I'm going to start off with some swatches on this. Oh, also, I have the NYX Shine Loud. Uh, liquid lip gloss or liquid lipstick and this is in the color um, I don't see a color on here. It's, I wonder if it's maybe overnight hero is the color. I'm not I'm not sure what the color is on here. So but it's this really pretty My son did get into it, so it's all kind of gummy, but it's really pretty, like, mauve color. So, I'm excited to try that out. And it's got this, like, clear gloss on the other end, so I guess you do, like, the color, kind of let it dry a little bit, and then you um, put the gloss on and it helps it stay. It's supposed to, like, have, like, I don't know, it's supposed to... I forget what the claim is, but it's supposed to last a really long time. And I'm gonna pair it with this uh, lip pencil by ColourPop in the shade O oh Snap. And this is what that looks like. I'll go ahead and swatch it. Feels very creamy. So I felt like that would be a good match for that. And then I'll go ahead and swatch the lip gloss. So there's that. And um, now to swatch some of the eyeshadows. They're very smooth. So I like that a lot. Just gonna swatch a few of them. This shade right here is not swatching very well. Um, I'm wondering if that's meant to be as like a topper. So let me, and that's right, right there. Like you can't even see it on there. So let me, Put it on top of like this matte purple. Man, my light, hang on. I'm gonna turn my light down a little bit and I'll be right back. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, now you can see it better. You still can't really see that one shade, so I'm gonna top it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a topper because if I put it on top of the purple there, it just kind of made the purple a little bit more shimmery. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Um, as usual with my eyeshadow videos and try-ons, um, reviews, whatever you want to call them, um, I will do one eye with primer and one eye without. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in here. Ooh. There we go. Grab a mirror. Okay. 
don't know what colors I'm going to be using out of this today, but we will see. And I will also use my blank slate to clean off my brushes in between. I think I'm going to go with this. I want to use um, this purple and this purple. So just to start with, I'm going to go in with this lighter pink shade here as a transition. It is a little bit powdery. But I do like that. So, I think we're going to go with a second layer. I do think it is, um, a little bit more pigmented on the side with the eyeshadow primer um, but I will definitely let you guys know how it wears throughout the day um, in the comments below and just to deepen it up I'm gonna go in with um, this deeper burgundy shade right there sorry I keep getting out of frame here Again, that's a very powdery color as well. I don't know if all Too Faced palettes are this powdery or not. Because, um, like I said, this is the first one I've ever been able to buy. They're just really expensive. They're always super pretty. They're just, it's really expensive, I feel like. So, I just never bought one. Okay, then we are going to go into this matte purple up here. Um, and I'm just going to kind of put this in the outer corner and pull it into the V a little bit just to get that purple shade going. Yeah, these are definitely performing better with eyeshadow primer. So I would recommend that you use eyeshadow primer. And then for the shimmer, I'm just looking for a flat, dense brush. And I'm going to go ahead and get it wet, just with some setting spray. I'm going to first apply it with the wet brush and then we'll go in with my finger probably. I don't think the brush is picking it up all that well. Yeah. Okay. Brush doesn't seem to pay, want to pick it up all that well. And then applying it with my finger picks it up a lot better. These aren't as like bright and vibrant, I don't feel like, as I was expecting. They're kind of more, a little bit more on the muted side is fine but I just like bold colors okay okay I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera and do my complexion products um, and then I'll bring you back here to finish off the eye look with the lower lash line and um, do the lipstick. So I will see you back here in a few. Okay, and we're back. So let's go ahead and do the lower lash line. I'm just looking for a brush that I want to use. Um, And I think I'm just going to go in with um, this purple right here. Just kind of get that up on the brush. And we're just going to go along the lower lash line. And the baby's awake. Um, 
Give me just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Just had to give her her pacifier. I think I chose the wrong brush for this. It's going down a little farther than I would like. But, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. And I already did mascara on the upper lashes, so let's go ahead and zoom you back out. And, just going too quickly. Went. I'm losing everything. That's okay. I'm gonna use this one as a mirror. You know, I'm not gonna layer on my bottom lashes today. Just to save time. Okay, let's move on to the lip gloss and the lip liner. Let's see, where did I put those? There we are. Okay, I'll zoom you in just a little bit. There we go. That way you can kind of see the color as well. Now I'm first gonna just kind of line my lips. Now I've never used a lip liner before, so this will be first time for me. I'm gonna go ahead, but yeah, this was the finished eye look. And I do like the palette. The formula was easy to work with. Um, the colors were just not quite as bright and bold as I was expecting. Just trying to follow the natural lines of my lips. Okay. So there's the lip color. It went on super creamy. Um, it's just a light nude color. So I do like that. Um, definitely gonna have to play with it a little more to get better at lining my lips. But now let's go into the lipstick, which I tried to wipe it off of my hand and it's still there. It's very stubborn. So I think this is gonna be a good lipstick. So there's the color. It goes on super creamy. Um, doesn't feel tacky at all. You know, maybe a little tacky as it's drying down. But nothing too bad. And it's probably just because it's drying down. Um, but yeah, so I think you're just supposed to kind of let it dry down a bit and then go over it with the gloss. Actually, it's getting really sticky. That's a little, it's a little odd feeling. 
Um, so let's see how it feels. I really like the color though. It's really pretty. Not a color I would usually go for, but I wasn't really like, there weren't a lot of options in stock when I bought it, so. Now this just kind of has like a brush tip applicator there. So. Okay, the gloss definitely takes away the stickiness. Definitely much more comfortable once you apply the gloss. Um, there's the look. Like I said, I really like the color. The formula is just different. Um, so I will let you know how this wears down in the comments below. Um, but so far I really enjoy it. Yeah, the gloss definitely takes away from the stickiness so I like that a lot because it was really sticky as it dried down really sticky like I don't know if you saw the way my lips were like sticking together when it was drying down so that is the look today and I will So yeah, um, just to recap, we reviewed the That's My Jam mini palette by Too Faced. Um, I do really like the formula. They just weren't quite as bright as I was expecting. Bright and bold is what I go for. But you know what, It's they weren't bad. So, and then I also, we also reviewed the NYX Shine Loud Liquid Lipstick and the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the color O oh Snap. Um, so far, both of these I really do enjoy. We will have to see how it wears. Um, but yeah, so far I'm really enjoying it. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.